for our next topic, we have applications of syntax directed translation. First is construction of syntax trees. For example, we have this set of productions. Now we will create a semantic rules. Remember that the node constructor is equals to node, open parenthesis, operator, then child nodes equals to parenthesis. Being that said, the, the E derives sub 1 dot plus T will be E dot node is equals to new node, open parenthesis, plus E sub 1 dot node and T dot node, closing parenthesis. The same thing will be applied to the second production. In the third one, E derives T will be just E dot node is equal to T dot node. The same with the fourth production. While in the fifth production, we will be using the leaf constructor, which is equals to leaf, open parenthesis operator, then value, closing parenthesis. T derives ID will become T dot node is equals to new leaf. Open parenthesis ID, comma ID dot entry, closing parenthesis. T derived num will be T dot node is equals to new leaf. Open parenthesis num, then num dot value, closing parenthesis. For example, we have a minus four plus t. Using the SDD we made earlier, we created this parse tree. As you can see, these are the set of productions that we have used. Now, if the rules are evaluated during a post-order reversal of the parse tree, or with reductions during a bottom-up parse tree, then the sequence of steps shown below end with P5 pointing to the root of the constructed syntax tree. Lastly, the structure of a type. This is an example of how inherited attributes can be used to carry information one part of the parse tree to another. Example, in C, the type int 2 by 3 can be read as array of two arrays of three integers. The corresponding type expression is represented by, by this tree. Given the set of productions and semantic rules, we now get this tree. The non-terminals B and T have a synthesized attribute, which is the letter T while the non-terminal C have two attributes, an inherited attribute B and the synthesized attribute T. The inherited B attribute passes a basic type down to 3, and the synthesized T attribute accumulates the result. As Annotated parse tree for the input string in 2 by 3 is shown below. The corresponding type expression is constructed by passing the three integer from B down the chain of T's to the inherited attribute B. The array type is synthesized after the chain of C's to the, to the attribute T. So that's all. Thank you.